So, first question. What goal are you hoping to accomplish through this show, oh. Chrissy and Dave Dine Out, number one. Number two, what do you want the viewers to learn the most? And I'm going to start with Joel. Um, and we're going to go down. Yeah, I, my answer is like sort of vaguely similar for both yeah. questions. I, I think it's about accessibility for me. I think I especially came into this show being one of those like eat to live kinds of people. I eat like terribly, lots of takeout, lots of fast food. And so my palate was not as advanced as I think these two were. And I always looked at restaurants like Providence, for instance, as like fully, you know, way outside of my comfort zone. Like that's not going to be food for me. It's inaccessible. And I think what I really want people to understand is that whether or not you're going to a Michelin star restaurant or you're going to like a, a, a secret, you know, hole in the wall place that you might walk by and, and not even notice that good food is, is is available to everybody and you don't have to have a super advanced palate to enjoy it and understand it and um, so that's answer one what was question two again can you repeat it one thing you want the viewers to learn or take away um, I want the viewers to learn I think especially after watching uh, the pizza Bianco episode with Chris Bianco oh, is um, that food can be art I, I did not think about it in that way um, so much before I tasted his pizza and I never imagined I would take a bite of pizza and say this is art until I ate there. So that's me. Um. Well, I'll start. I, I would love people to take away. Well, I think the most important thing to take away from the show for me was the passion that goes into such a complicated and competitive industry. Um, I think the parts where I got really emotional um, were hearing the stories of the chefs themselves. Chris Bianco had such an incredible story. Um, he was very emotional and passionate about the food that he serves, and it's pizza. I mean, uh, it's a simple food, but when done beautifully and done with passion and with an artistic sensibility, like Joel said, like it's really, it's incredible to see like the passion that's behind his eyes. Like I teared up when he came to the table and started speaking to us about it. Um, the industry is so hard to survive in LA and New York. Like just imagine how competitive it is. We came out of this show um, wanting to highlight um, these businesses and these restaurants um, after a terrible, terrible pandemic. Um, so I hope people are able to take away that this is you know, for some of us, it's just like a nice, fun night out. But for the people that are owning these restaurants, that are chefs at these restaurants, this is their entire life. And um, the passion is really there. And I thought it was so beautiful to see. Um, and then, sorry, yeah, what was the other? What's the goal? They're of so the show? close. I think you kind of answered it, though, yeah. with like you the did, economic you both. piece. Yeah. yeah, I think they're so similar. You that, answered yeah, both. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm that worked Thank with you. nothing. Well, you got the hardest <laughs> spot. You got number three. Yeah. Um, well, the, I guess the takeaway of the first bit, probably not the most original one, but I do think it's worth talking about is how amazing these guys are as hosts, mm. right? <laughs> um, we know Joel's funny, but I think the world gets to see just how funny Chrissy is as well. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, it's not easy hosting a table full of diverse personalities and successful people in the industry, et cetera. And I think you guys did a remarkable job. And huffing and puffing and being like <laughs> sitting with a yeah. baby belly on my thighs. Oh my Lord, like that was, was the hardest part, but it was were, fun to eat. You were a trooper, you no. know, very, very pregnant and you crushed it, right? Thank like you. we had such a fun time we and really I think that did. hopefully that comes across and um, the, the takeaway or learn what was the second bit? The learn. Um, that the conversations that we have, uh, that I, I hope that people find that it can be relatable, right? That they're not so different than anybody else having a normal conversation. Um, and also I'd say that uh, I hope that people that are watching somebody uh, talking, maybe they didn't know that pers perspective of their life or a story about them that changes how they think about one of our Dining companions. And we were so lucky that so many celebrities signed mm -hmm. up to do this because, you know, usually when you ask a publicist, they want to promote a project or push something. Mm -hmm. And this was less about that and more about showing the world a different side of them or, or hearing different things about them that you didn't necessarily already know. Um, so, yeah, that part was really, really cool. Amazing. 
Wonderful. I'm so excited, even more so now after hearing y'all's responses to my little game. Um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Bye. Thank you. Bye.